Good morning all. I am Nidhi Anandani and I am a yoga coach from Never Fine Me. Happy to see everybody smiling today. We're going to start a little bit of jumping and then we're going to start with the entire routine. So now this is a difficult time. Think after Corona, we're going to run and we're going to catch our bus. And uh, we're getting late for the bus and we're going to start. But before that, let me introduce uh, what we're going to do today. So welcome everybody to the World Yoga Festival. And guess what, guys? We're going to have 108 sessions, and the coaches from 40 different countries are going to share their experience with you all, and you all can practice with us. So I have a message for you guys, and the message is because there's so much of, uh, you know, so many thoughts going on in the mind, and anxiety is very common these days. So the affirmation for now is, my mind is calm, positive, and powerful, guys. And trust me on these; these affirmations really work. Now, the first thing that you need to do is. Guys, please make sure that you're technically correct when you're practicing that. Um, you all need to roll the shoulders to the back. Take the hands to the front as if you're receiving something. Guys, make sure you're doing it the right way. Put the hands like this. And pat yourself for making it to the session early in the morning. And be proud of your existence, guys. And let's just stand up and we're going to start with the practice. Hold your waist. Think you're going to miss your train to the favorite destination and you have to jog or jump whichever way it's comfortable for you. So keep jumping guys or keep jogging and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen. Guys, keep jogging. Fifteen, sixteen. All right. Think that negativity is on the floor and you have to kill them. Nineteen, twenty, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and change. And think you're going to pick the bucket of happiness on the side. And one, and two, guys, it's a bucket of happiness. Three, four, five, six, seven. Keep moving on the sides. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. Keep moving. Fourteen. 15, with a smile on the face, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and relax, guys. All right, so you guys come on the mat. Put the hands closer to the chest. I'm sure the heart is beating at a faster rate. Uh, so you need to inhale and expand your chest. And exhale and release. And with every breath you're taking, guys, I want you all to practice gratitude. Chest, exhale, and release. As I request you all to show me the happy faces. And inhale, it's okay if you messed up, it's all right, guys. Just, just put the camera on. And exhale, and release. Inhale, four. Exhale, four. Either we think about the past or we always see the future and we forget to see the present moment. And you know why we call the present moment as a present moment? Well, because it's a, it's a present from God, guys. It is a present. It is a gift from God and that's why we call it as a present moment. And you guys take the hands on the side. Now you guys go the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. Keep moving to the left. To the right, nothing, guys. To the left is Rasgullas, and to the right is the Rajamuls. And you're moving to the left and the right. Now keep going far off and put the hand on the floor. Keep it as far as possible. Now squeeze the abdomen, elevate the spine, squeeze it, elevate the spine. And think there's a plane going on top of your head, guys. And land on the spine, guys, and stay there. And look towards the ceiling if that's a possibility. Otherwise, look towards the camera. And there's this rule in my session, if you don't smile, I double the cards. And what? Keep smiling, guys. Two, three, continue to inhale, exhale, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We go on the other side. Now go on the other side as far as possible. Put the fingers on the floor, elevate, tighten the abdomen. 
everybody was smiling. I'm going to slide. I would love to watch the ceiling like this. And keep, keep leveling your hands. And to continue to breathe in. Breathe up. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We go on the side. All right. So now what you need to do is flip in the left. Okay? Put the ear closer to the shoulder. Now take the left hand up and say hi, guys. You're meeting for the first time. All right. So when you say hi to somebody, you need to smile, guys. And put the camera on so that I can see you all. Now you need to press the ear this way and press it in a way that you're pressing the right shoulder downward to the left to the left side. And continue to press, guys. One. Don't forget to breathe in. And now two, three, four, and five. We go on the right side. Put the ear closer to the right shoulder. Take the right hand up. Say hi. And put the hands over your. And keep pressing it, guys. One. Keep squeezing the abdomen. Don't sit like this. And two, three. Guys, I hope you all breathe because this is what we forget all the time. Five, six, seven, and change to the center and relax. So there's a lot of tension around the shoulders that we carry. So all you have to do is roll it to the back and smile and release it, guys. And one, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Chill out, guys. Six, seven, and eight. Now take it to the front, guys. Now when you're taking it to the front, don't do this because we already have the sacrum of punching your back. Take it up and take the shoulder up and hook to the front. Two, beautiful. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and we're going to say yes, we're going to stay happy all the time. And take the right hand up, it's my guys. Now, work with the right hand. So, with the left hand, you're kind of pulling the right hand, you're taking it up towards the ceiling. You see the difference, guys? This is where I am. And you need to go up, keep pulling it, guys, and go on the side. And one. All right, now keep going to the left. Two, keep pulling, guys. Three, now if, if not, you can look towards the camera. Four, don't forget to breathe in, breathe out, five, six, seven, and eight. Come to the center. The position of the hand stays the same, and we're going to take it to the other side. And we're going to say hi to the rest of the people, guys, and keep the head up and take the hands to the side and keep lengthening the spine, guys. One, tighten the abdomen. Don't do this. Head has to stay strong. Two, go on the side, so the body is in the center, only the hands and goes on the right. And three, four, five, chin up guys, keep the head strong. Six, seven, and eight, come to the center. Again, you go on the right side, so the hand which is up, you go on the right side, put the elbow on the floor, and keep pulling it apart guys. And one, yes, two, Three, take the hands up if possible. Look towards the ceiling. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Come up and bring the hands together and say yes from the left hand. So take the left hand up and keep pulling it. So take it up towards the ceiling, then with the spine, and we go on the side and keep stretching yourself, guys, to the side. I think you're waking up, which any way we are. And two, three, keep going on the side, four, five. So I keep the head strong, six, beautiful, seven, and eight. Now keep the hands here. All you're doing is you're taking the hand on the other side. The spine is in the center. And keep the head as strong as possible. Chill up, guys. And one, two, three, four, five. Continue to inhale, exhale, six. I can see a few people, but they're not smiling. So I'm thinking of doubling the counts. Seven and eight. And slowly come to the center, guys. And relax. 
All right. Well, I wasn't thinking of doing so, but I think I will have to do so. So you know the movie Titanic. I'm sure everybody has seen the movie. Yeah. So do we know the famous Titanic pose, guys? Any guesses? Thanks. Thanks, host. So take the hands to the side and think you're on the front of the cruise with the chin up. Now, now that you've taken this decision, you can't come down, guys. I'm going to double the count if anybody comes down. Yes. Now, what you need to do is take the hands up and down. Well, it looks easy. Let's do it, guys. Two up and down. Chin up, guys. To the front of the cruise. Three and down. Four, five, six. Beautiful. Seven, eight. Nine and ten, eleven. Beautiful guys. Twelve. I can see people trying to save their energy. Thirteen. Faster. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Two. The somebody is not smiling, so maybe it can be fifty counts. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Shut up. Seventeen. Eighteen. 19, faster, 20, it's a feeling guys, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yes guys, don't give up, 10, and 1, 2, 3, I know it's feeling, that's when it will start working, 4, 5, next, next practice is really good guys, 7, 8, 9, and change. All right, I'm trying to be nicer because you're meeting for the first time. Take the hands to the back, guys. And give yourself the lightest possible hug, guys. And think you're loving yourself in the morning and say you're proud of yourself. Elbows up. And keep pressing, guys. Up. Yes. One. Breathe in, guys. Breathe out. Two. Get it. Go closer. Three. Four. And five. And from there, what you're going to do is intercross intercross your hands like the elbows and you're going to do namaste now what you need to do is bring the palm closer and the shoulders away from you and keep pressing it against each other and one beautiful two elbows away the palm closer to the forehead three four and five and slowly come back and open it again and can we do the titanic move again guys say yes or no yes no? All right, there's somebody saying yes. All right. Okay, just, just 10 counts. And one. Take it down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Think of the stronger shoulders we get, no? Stronger arms. Then you thank me later. Eight. Nine. And ten. And again, open it, guys. And swap your hands and hug yourself once again, guys. And two. Three. Four and five. All right, there are a few people that are liking the Titanic move, guys. We need to hug ourselves. Yes, and soak your hands and now press the elbows against each other. Keep pressing it, guys. And one, two, elbows away from you. The palm is closer to the head. Three, sit hard. Guys, please uh, put the camera on. Four and five. And relax. All right. Well, my explanations are weird, but guys, please get used to it. I'm sure everybody knows a famous dancer, Michael Jackson. Uh, or maybe we must have heard about Michael Jackson, guys. Have we? Say yes, no. Right hand, yes, no. For the left hand. Yes, we have. Yeah. So be a happy kid when you do that move. So come on your toes, guys, and stand up. Yeah. So what you need to do is stand anywhere on the mat. That's all right. Uh, the distance is like hip apart. Now, what you need to do is uh, put the hands closer, bend your knees, slightly bend the knees, and take the pelvic in. So remember the Michael Jackson move, this. Same thing you have to do. Take the pelvic to the front, take the hands up, squeeze your butt up tight to your hips, and squeeze the abdomen. Now, take the hip to the back, and come forward. Think you're hugging somebody. You're going in their direction. Take the hands down, and up, guys. And inhale, pelvic to the front, head to the back, exhale, head to the back, guys. Go forward, hands up, and come back. Inhale, three, exhale, go back to the front, three. Guys, if you breathe in and breathe out, you start enjoying the process. Inhale, four, exhale. 
exhale hip to the back guys exhale four inhale five hip to the back exhale five please guys don't forget to bend your knees inhale six hip to the front pelvis to the front take it to the back and six inhale seven hip to the back exhale seven and eight to the back exhale eight and five you're doing this for ten counts hip to the back exhale nine Again, go back and stay there, guys. Stay there. Take the, do the micro flex. Move pelvic to the front. Go back. Your body, the back will start shaking, guys. Let the shake happen. And two, squeeze your hips and stay up. Three, smile, guys. I'm going to double the count. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now you need to squeeze your abdomen, bend the knees, rest the abdomen on the knees, and then you're hugging somebody and you're going there. And one, squeeze the abdomen. Two, three, four, and five. When you go down, guys, split the bent knees. Do not straighten your knees. And if you have myopia or any cardiac disorders, spinal issues, be careful with this, guys. And tighten the abdomen. Put the hands over here on the side. Take the hip to the back first. Now take it to the front. Keep taking it to the front. Tighten the abdomen and go down, guys. Now the intention here is to bring the head closer to the floor and stay there. Now, if you think you're very comfortable, hold your legs from the back and take the heads up and don't forget to breathe in and breathe out and go forward, guys. Knees always bent because in the morning there's a possibility of an injury. So don't do that. Don't straighten your knees and continue to breathe in and breathe out. Two, keep going forward. Bring the head closer to the floor. Three, four, five, six. Beautiful, guys. Seven and eight. And all right. Okay. Now, from there, what you need to do is open the legs. Open the legs, guys. And bring the hip down. Hip down. And from there, come to Malasana, guys. Malasana. So this is the Indian squatting position. It helps in improving the sciatic pain, the digestion. Hands closer to the chest. And stay there. Keep pushing the shoulders. With the shoulders, you keep pushing the thighs away from you. And stay there. And slowly put the hands on the floor and come to the seated pose. And put the hands over here, closer to the chest. And again, guys, this is the abdominal breathing. That's the end of the session. So we're going to do this. Say hi from the right hand. Put the right hand on the abdomen. Now, think your abdomen is like a balloon. So you need to inhale and expand. Exhale, take the abdomen inside. Inhale, two. Keep expanding. Exhale, and in. Three, keep expanding the abdomen, guys. Close your eyes and with every exhalation, guys, I want you to practice gratitude. And in, four, continue to inhale and expand. Exhale and in and slowly open your eyes, guys. All right, so there's one practice that we're going to do and that's it, guys. Okay, so whenever there's a difficult situation in life, which I'm sure everybody goes through the situation, so you need to put the thumb in rest of the thing fingers like this this is one of my favorite practice so a lot of people a lot of times people have come back and told us you can't do this you're not good enough well of course if you have sensitive back or cardiac disorders menstruation expecting if you're expecting don't do this rest of you do this slowly think of a no that you've heard in your life and you need to say yes how do we say yes is we do it slowly first forceful inhalation and exhalation so it's like Close the eyes, guys. Say yes. So we'll do it slowly 10, for 10, 10 times. Now that you've got used to it, we're going to do it for 20 times, guys. And say yes. Six, seven, eight. Keep closing your eyes. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
and put the hands closer to the chest, guys. Inhale and expand your chest. Exhale and release. Now, isn't it a beautiful feeling, guys? We all can breathe. And two, keep expanding. We can see the colors of the light. Exhale, three. Inhale, four. Close your eyes, guys. I have a message for you all. Inhale, four. Exhale, four. And slowly open your eyes, guys. And, and the next practice is called the Swakrasana. You need to roll the shoulders to the back. Press the heel against the floor and try to sit straight legs. Now, if you think it is harder, uh, then put, put some cushions under the hip or, or you can just roll it to the back. Now, what you need to do is, you need to take the left hip or left heel under the right hip like this and you need to adjust. Now, the right leg kind of crosses the other leg like this so basically what we're doing is the, we're kind of crossing the legs, we're putting the left under the left, uh, right hip, and we're crossing the right and we're putting it this way. Yes, now the variations in it, I'm giving you a simpler variation. Now, the problem with us is we keep on looking for happiness in others. So what you need to do is take the hands up, think you're looking for happiness in others and you're kind of pressing the knee like this. Then you realize, and everybody keeps telling us that the happiness is within us, guys. So realize that it comes within, and you need to hug yourself tightly and intercross your fingers, tighten the abdomen, and sit straight, guys. It's back. Yes. Now, this works beautifully uh, for the uh, spinal movement. However, if your back is very sensitive, please avoid this. And also, if you are on your menstruation, avoid it, guys. Rest of you can do this. Now, if possible, you can look to the back with the chin up and hold it for eight counts guys and continue to inhale with every exhalation guys continue to twist and two three inhale exhale three four five six seven eight and slowly come back and say hi guys take both the hands up and when you say hi you need to smile now this this is marathon called it's my life and we all are about it so what you need to do is come to the center put the hands on the floor and shift the weight to the front and then you extend the back like this so today you're participating in a marathon and giving that this another choice for us squeeze the abdomen Lemon the spine, make sure the front knee and the toes in one line and think you're doing a plank, however it is a one-legged plank and we also call it Otita Pishtan Asana it is very good for side pain or if you're looking to release the tension around the muscles around the thighs to that place and three, continue, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, possible you can look up put the if it's too tiring put the knee on the floor um five or if you want to challenge yourself pick it up six seven eight and put the knee on the floor guys now you need to say hi from the right hand put the right hand on the right thigh and not the knee guys be careful you're kind of taking, you're turning out the right leg and you're pressing the thigh and you're kind of opening the hips. And one, one. Try to open your chest. Two. Beautiful, guys. Continue to smile. Three. For people who have a sedentary lifestyle, it would, be, it would be very difficult, guys. However, once you gain consistency, it would become a great problem. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And change, take it inside, guys. Now, what you need to do is take the, leg, the right leg to the back, and from there, you need to do the asana. Yeah. So, like, like I said in the morning, it's okay to bend the knees, guys. So, lend them the spine, tighten the abdomen, and stay there. Now, you put the knees on the floor, expand the knees. So, what you need to do is open the knees, leave the space for the chest to rest. Uh, take the hands to the front, head on the floor, and stay there for five minutes. Remember, as kids, those five minutes of sleep before before you should wake up for school, 
because for the precious hours or the minutes of the sleep, we call that guys. And one, continue to inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, four, and five. Bring the hand inward, look towards your navel, and slowly come back and relax. All right, we'll quickly come with the other side. And again, come to Dandasana. Now, now, put the right heel under the left hip like this. Yes, make sure, guys, what happens is the weight tends to shift in one side. So make sure you're in the center. Left leg kind of crosses the right leg like this. Like I said, stop looking for happiness in others. Find it within yourself, guys, and hug yourself rightly. If you think this is very comfortable, keep squeezing the abdomen. Take a hand up to you, Namaste. And one. Yeah, wherever you think you're more comfortable. Two, three, keep looking to the back. With every exhalation, I squeeze your abdomen. Four, five, six, four, and eight. To the center, guys. And we're going to say hi to everybody here. Put the hands on the floor and do the marathon position together. This, this pose is called as Uthita Prishtan Asana. In English, we call it the lizard pose, and that's one of my favorite poses. Then in the spine, look up towards the ceiling and keep the legs properly. Two, three, four, five. Keep looking up. You can bounce if you want. Up and down. Six, seven. And eight. Now again, from there, what you need to do is take the leg up, up, squeeze the abdomen. Think you have got a strength. Uh, you know what bodybuilders do is they push the like they tighten the abdomen and they open the chest. Keep doing that. Now bend your knees and stay there, and keep pushing the floor away from the hips. Now open the legs and take the hand in, 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 and like I always end the session with my last lap. Open your hips, do namaste guys, recall your childhood days, the more you got punished during the days, the stronger the knees are guys. So nothing gets wasted in life and come back and slowly come to a seated pose and I guess Jenny's there to take over. So yes Jenny, thank you. Alright, don't, don't forget the message guys, my mind is calm, positive and powerful guys and thank you.